This is Brian with GameRoomSolutions.com and in this video I'm going to talk about a few new products that we have as well as walk through our new pedestal cabinet. So first I'm going to talk about our new control panels. We have both a two and four player option that have a ton of cuts. You can get um, a trackball, flight stick, spinner, four way, pinball holes. There's just a lot of different ways that you can select for your cabinet to be cut uh, for the application that you want. In addition to that, these new panels will fit our mid-size cabinet, our new pedestal that I'm going to show you, and also our soon coming new vertical cabinet. So again, in this video, we're going to walk through the new pedestal cabinet, how to put it together. It integrates our control panels, but also comes with the standard top for any third party control that you'd want to put on top of that. Uh, your choice of T-molding color goes together quickly with the cam lock system. You can add graphics to match your control panel, and also this will support uh, an ATX computer case. So let's go ahead and walk through the assembly of this and um, go from there. Okay, so let's put together this little pedestal here. Uh, this is the right side, so that's the top with a little bit more of a point on it. Just go through and put all of the cam screws in. You can go and put the cam locks in, just make sure they're fam uh, facing towards the edge that the cam will go in itself. But we'll just go ahead and start putting this together. Um, there's, there's an easier way to do this, so I'll talk through that as we do it. Okay, so put the top on. You're going to want the clip uh, facing this direction towards the back, because of course this is where it's going to hinge open. And again, you can fit a full tower PC in here if you wanted to. I made it just about the perfect size, just a little bit bigger uh, for that. Here's a little shelf inside. You can put the cams on the inside there. And then that's the front that you guys can see with the graphics. So put those three in. Don't forget the clip. Uh, we'll go ahead and put in this in the back door. Okay, so I put in this um, lower back piece right there. Uh, put the back door on. Make sure that there's some kind of support for this back door when only one cam's in on one side. Uh, otherwise, it could break that cam off. So just make sure it's supported like that. And then you can see also that I have the clip here, and that'll just shut. Um, I'll just shut the front here. There you go. So you can see how that's, that's shut like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and put the other side on. All right, so got that uh, other side on, got everything tightened up. Now I'm going to take the bottom. You can see there's four cam screws here. Uh, so put those in. And then I'm just going to pick that board up, pull this off the table just a little bit so you can put it on. Put the two in there, two in there, tighten it up, and then we'll set the unit up. Okay, so there it is. It's all set up. Um, again, you have a little back door here that you could put a tower in if you wanted to. Uh, but that all looks good. So now I'm going to talk through the, the few options that you'll have uh, for what to put on this thing. Okay, so if you have one of our control panels, which I'm going to show in a minute, uh, you won't do anything else. It's just going to go on here, and I'll show you how to do it. But if you're going to put a third-party uh, controller or something else on this, it's going to come with this additional board here, and you guys can see the holes. But essentially, um, those will just line up in there. You can put that down, which I'll show you in a second. Open the back and do the cams. So let me show you that now. Okay, so you guys can see how that looks. You could set anything up there. That's why I just set a random control panel up there. Uh, if you have an X Arcade or a Pandora's box or something like that you're looking for a pedestal for, um, this option will work great for that. Again, it comes with this board whether you use it or not. I will go ahead and show you our newer uh, both two-player and four-player panels that will actually fit directly with this unit. So I took that top panel off. Um, that's if you want to set a third party controller on it, like I said. And this is an example of our new four player, uh, our little four player control panel there. Again, there's tons of options with this, but this will just go straight on the top and bolt down to it. All the bolt holes are there. Um, it comes with the bolts. Just to talk about this panel a little bit, you got the pinball holes if you want them. You got USB ports on both sides. All this is selectable. You can select how you want this cut. Uh, I did eight button with four button for the two and three player, two inch trackball, four way spinner, uh, additional action buttons for your four way and your spinner. And then of course your admin buttons across the top and a flight stick. So this is all of the options. Again, you could just pick, well, I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. You just pick it whenever you order. So that's what the, uh, the four player looks like right there on there. So you can see it's, it's seamless. And now I'll show you the two-player version on there. Okay, and here's the two-player panel. So again, you can see it's seamless. Looks great on there. Um, again, you got a lot of option cuts here too. You got pinball holes on the side, uh, the two-player trackball, four-way spinner, flight stick. 
Uh, you also have, I haven't put it in yet, so USB port there. This will be a digital plunger. I plan to also double this as a um, pin sim. So essentially doing pinball VR, you know, uh, this is going to be perfect for that application. So I'm going to do that as well for me personally. But this is our new pedestal showing our new two and four player uh, control panels on top of it. Make sure and like the video. Visit GameRoomSolutions.com. Thanks.